Wait a second, that says cruise missile. Well, if you couldn't guess, <laughs> hold on a second. This Jeep, who did this? Which one of you many, many blue idiots is responsible for this? What happens if I get inside? <laughs> hey guys, what, what's going on? What are, you, what are you doing? All right, anyway, I gotta get to the front lines. Soldier, take me to the front lines. Bill and Bob just died while you're sitting here looking like an idiot. Da, 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 da. All right, basically what we need to be doing, oh, enemy fortification? <laughs> Not a problem, we've got cruise missiles. I feel like I've been making the sound a little bit too much. All right, so let's go ahead and get our little uh, computer out here. Oh, snap incoming missile. You got a missile, I got a bigger one. All right, launching, deploying the cruise missile. This is one of the coolest mods I've ever seen. Uh, there it is. There's the enemy fort and, oh, <laughs> yes. Look at that. Oh, snap, they got bullets hiding the grass. Serpentine like a snake. My guys haven't even established a beachhead yet. I've got myself a little like tablet computer. It's just funny, I'm just saying like tablet, cause I play like games like Stick War Legacy on it, on my tablet. And on this one, I'm able to fire freaking cruise missiles. Look at that. There's the new special forces Zodiac heading down there. Now I'm wondering, can we get a long shot? Oh, that looks good. No, a little high. <laughs> All right, we found our range. So, oh, incoming. This guy's on the machine gun. Oh, he just dodged me. Okay, so we're gonna move in a little bit closer. Now, basically what we're gonna be, wow, as I almost get run over by Larry the idiot. We're gonna be showing off a few different special forces type weaponry. Don't worry about that. They're lying to us. It's enemy propaganda. I can't lose. Why? Because we're the good guys. All right, they're, they're firing some shots at me. There's an enemy helicopter up in the air. I guess that would be a very exciting thing, is to try to deploy this cruise missile, which comes from off screen. And here we go, we've got it. All right, that looks like a big enemy formation right there. Boom! Okay. Now, how many of these? Oh, I'm, I'm deploying them automatically. As long as I've got the tablet out, it fires them. But this has got to be the best custom weapon that I've ever seen in this game. I only took out one guy there, unfortunately. So what are you doing up there? You idiot bloop. What a bloopy name. I wish I did have an AC-130 gunship right now to take out that fortress because I don't know if we can do it. However, the issue here is that we don't have an airfield on this map. The best thing that we got is helicopters. So we're gonna have to play a different map to show off the AC-130. I don't care how many people we snipe, when you look at the map, it's just not looking good. So this is gonna be interesting because we need to get up top and get control of an AC-130 gunship, and I'm not sure how well this is going to work because it's on an aircraft carrier. Don't you get in that. Guys, don't, don't do that, please. But look at, as it sails away, probably to its doom, look at that, that 20 millimeter minigun. This is a big old howitzer and that's a 40 millimeter, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how big this one is. Where, where are you guys? Oh my God, it actually worked. This one did not though. Maybe I can take control of this one. Oh, don't tell me it won't fly, baby. Ooh we'll get them next time. Oh my goodness. AC-130, it looks like my gunners are operating these. Let's go ahead and try to take this off without running over. Oh, I just clipped that guy in the back of the face. The back of the face, I guess, would be inside his head, right? Oh my God, a friendly AC-130 just flew under me. Okay, so what we gotta do then... Oh! Oh my god, look at that. Okay, so what's happening right now is my allied AC-130 is carpet bombing that enemy position right there. That looks like 20 mil, 40 mil, some howitzer rounds going off. Oh, do you remember that, that mission in Call of Duty? where you got to control. Oh, look at this. These, this puppy's firing. Everybody's firing. Keep doing your jobs. Oh my God, it's absolutely just 
Massive destruction. Keep firing. Keep firing. The only issue with this is I have to rely on bots. Which is very, very unfortunate because I wish I had some friends to just like hop in this thing with me so that we could control the different weapon systems. There goes the howitzer shell. We should see a massive explosion over there. We got those explosions in the distance. Is that my guys? It's really hard to tell. Oh, that was the howitzer ground going off. And if you could also get like battlefield style assist notifications, you would also be given notice that like, oh my God, your guys just, I don't know, wiped out 20 enemy soldiers. All right, so he's over there. If one of these idiots would just turn their guns to bear on that instead of, wait, the 40 mil looks like it might be. All right. Come on, boys. Just shellac them. $20 to anybody who will hit that armored car. Look at us just ripping up the hangers. Every time I fly by this thing, it reminds me of the Battle of Endor. You know, like the big, like, shield projector installation that the Rebel Alliance is going to take out and, like, Return of the Jedi? Where, I, I guess there's no real Ewoks to hide in these sand dunes, though. <laughs> oh, that would be perfect to just destroy this tank. Oh, if my howitzer gunner was any the wiser. It looks like we may have fired up a, a 40 mil round at them. But overall, it's a little bit tricky to control. Everybody out! Oh, God. That was not what I expected to happen, where it would just stop midair. Because what I wanted to do was get back to firing my cruise missiles. So basically, you just press left click, and you can right click, I think. Yeah, right click kind of zooms in, gives us the bigger screen. All right, we have control now, but after a certain point. Oh, you lose control of it. So you have a very, very select amount of time. I wish it would, I wish it would just wait till it impacted, right? Okay, enemy armored vehicle. Ooh, that looks like a good hit. Let's go check it out. We're also gonna take a quick look at Conquest mode, see if there's been any updates to that. Look at that, AC-130's popping off. Speaking of popping off, we, we tried a snapshot when we were still stabilizing. Oh, enemy red boys. There's Duck, oh, <laughs> doing flips. What if we try to hit these guys? What if it like, if we're aiming from a different perspective, will, will this thing come in from a different angle? All right, I want to hit this plane. Boom, AC-130 bot. So there's bot versions and player versions. Wait a second, right? All right, these are all the player versions. I just gotta find a way to get inside of it. There we go. We are inside of it, but it's not... Something's wrong with the G-Diffuser. <laughs> okay, but we, we got up running. Now, how do I... How do I live without you? Oh, right, guys, I figured it out. As I was flying off into no man's land, this is tricky. That's the 40. That's the howitzer. I should be approaching the airfield. Okay, I'm gonna tip the wing down. And I'm gonna switch to my 40 mil because look at this. Boom! Fire! Fire the howitzer! Oh, puppies. I love it! I love it! <laughs> this kill feed is incredible! AC-130, boys! Oh my god, it's even better than the other versions. Alright, so we just started a new one. I wonder how good this is gonna be. Oh my goodness! I can, I can adjust the, I guess, the ailerons for my plane. Look at that guy, he's like... Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at the enemy plane. So like, I have no idea where we're flying. As far as I know, we could be like Icarus and going straight into the sun right now. But if this isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in Ravenfield, this is something that like, if you could have tech 
and call in airstrikes and support things like this in a regular skirmish battle. But then also, oh man, imagine if those were fuel derricks, oil derricks, bunker, fuel bunkers, whatever they are, shield generators for a freaking Star Destroyer. That guy on the cliff, he's dead. He's not dead. I take it back. He, he, he is not dead. But the other guy, totally dead. Enemy plane? Absolutely. Start firing. Give him a broadside. Watch that enemy plane just start lightening up. Eventually, we're going to hit him, right? There it is. Disabled. Everybody's going out. Oh, my God. All right. Let's try to do this real time. Okay. This is what real time looks like. I'm just really curious to see what our kill feed's going to look like in a second. Because I am wiping out... Wait a minute. Is it circling automatically? All right. Fire the big boy. Big boy's out. Ooh. Let's go to the little boys. Uh-oh. Where am I flying? <laughs> All right. 40 kills. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right. Where are you at, little red boys? I feel like it's it's cooler in slow-mo. Oh, I gotta watch out and hopefully not hit my friends in their parachutes. Let's see how lucky we get. Oh my god, that was a direct hit with James. Poor James and his helicopter. Helicopter. Carriers. Oh wait, hold on. Alright, I'm not sure. I'm trying to lock onto the enemy AC-130. But he's just staying out of range. Well, you see your friends over there, Mr. AC-130? Because I do. Wing up. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, this does remind me of that mission. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, we should be absolutely kicking the enemy's butt. Hold on. Enemy, ooh, enemy tank? Let's see if we can't get a direct hit with the howitzer. Come on, come on. Oh! All right, we'll switch to the 40 mil, which I think is gonna be firing HE. I don't, th I don't know how effective it'll be with the against the tank. We're also a firing a little bit behind. I feel like I'm centered. There we oh, disabled the rhino puppies. I don't know why I'm saying puppies. It's like I love puppies and I love flying this plane. So I, I feel like maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've never flown an AC-130 gunship before. Oh my god, just dancing on them, boys. This is the best mod that we've played at least in a while. Look at that guy back there. He's just living his best life. Somehow dodging like 268 different rounds until he gets wrecked. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, yes. All right, and we'll just go back to this. Oh yes, dude. I mean, th the United States of America has these things. I don't know why. God, I would never, ever, ever want to be dealing with something like this. All right, let's use our 40 mil on this plane if those 20 millimeter rounds. I think it's a 40 mil. I think it's like a, a 20 millimeter Vulcan. And then I'm pretty sure this is a 40 millimeter like pom pom. And then they legit have a howitzer cannon in there. I don't know exactly, but my God, like imagine this is just an enemy hanger, which it is. And that is the sweet, sweet taste of victory. We got cruise missiles, and you know that we got it. And we got that basic uh, flying Death Star here. Oh, you got a you got a cute little you little little tanky tank. All right, I just want to fire as fast as possible. Three rounds out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. The modding community in Ravenfield is just absolutely amazing, and I love them. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.